Okay, how long about Zoink TV? I'm Andrew Weir. I just want to make a quick Blender tutorial on how to turn objects such as this cube on a screen and any other kind of object that you might have, which in a scene could be like a neon light or something like that, or maybe if you had like a futuristic scene um, and you're just in like a blank room, kind of like the same visuals as this, but like a fantasy world type thing. You might want to have an effect similar to what's being shown right now. Uh, or text effects, which again might want similar effects to what's being shown on the screen. And so I'm going to show you how to do this. It's really simple, um, but the settings are in a few different places. So when we get around to adding them, uh, it's mostly in the materials. But there are a few world settings in there which need changing to make it work. So uh, new scene, so file new, Let's, uh, restart that, and we can drag this up a little bit just above the, the floor area. Add a plane which is in line with the floor area, and scale this up until it's outside the render uh, view. So if I have it quite small and I render we can see that this area above is still visible, uh, which is not what we want, so I'm going to scale this up even more. Uh, it doesn't need to be insanely long, but uh, since this is the only two things in the scene, that's what I'm going to do. And um, we can see that it's not quite you know, right. We've got a light in there, which is obviously not what we want, and they're both default materials. So let's delete this light first. And let's render that. We can see nothing. It's definitely not lit up. Uh, let's go to the materials on this cube first. Um, and this part is one of the most important parts. And that is actually making the light, uh, the mesh into a light. So let's go ahead and press onto shading and then emit and press 1. Uh, you don't have to cl select one, but it's a max of two and a minimum of zero, which is your average. So I'm going to go for one, which is in the middle. Um, but the, the stronger you make it, the stronger the light will be. And obviously the less strong you make it, the less strong the light will be. So let's go for a render of that. And we can see that it's still not lighting up the scene, although it looks like it should be a light as it is shadeless and so on. Um, if you have, if you've selected this before, uh, like I did, I just kind of found it out and was like, hmm, I bet that makes that into a light. So I rendered it and nothing happened. And in scenes, I have actually just put a light in the middle of it and let that do, make it look like it's a light. Uh, but that's not very good. So you can actually change this into a light by going to the world settings, uh, selecting indirect lighting. And then rendering again, we'll see that nothing's working, uh, which is why I want to render it again, just so that you remember you've then got to select approximate. So that's right there. Default settings should be okay. Render that, and we get quite a nice effect. So uh, you can see that it's shining away from the faces so that it's stronger around here because it's shining straight out that face and it's less strong in the corners because there's no faces to be shining directly out of. Um, and so, just to make this look a little bit better, I'm going to add that futuristic blue which is just everywhere um, and it makes it just look more futuristic. Render that again, we can see that looks quite nice. And then we can uh, as you saw in my other one, I actually made this plane, uh, I gave it a new material and I made it a little bit reflective. So let's go into mirror and turn up the reflective. If we turned it up quite a lot and rendered, we'd see that we'd be stealing the effect of the light, which is not what we want to do. And obviously if we had it all the way up, then we wouldn't get any light at all, we'd just get a solid reflection, which is still not what we want. So I'm going to put that roughly around uh, 1 point, 0 0.15 
and then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn up the turn down the gloss a little bit so that it's not quite as sh uh, sharp reflect a sharp reflection. And as you can see, at the closer that the object is, the sharper it will be. Looks quite nice, so I'll keep that. And then that should be okay. I think that's pretty much the same that I had apart from when I render this, we can see that there are no sides on this shape, like at all. You can't, apart from the actual outline, you won't be able to tell that this is a cube. And that's not exactly what we want. Uh, so, the way that I did it is I made it a little bit more transparent, but the reason that it's not showing any sides is because there's no light to be shining on it, so right now it should be pitch black, but the shape is the light. So if we have another light shining on it, let's go for that there, we can see that we get a shade there and it makes it look a little bit more like a cube, although we have completely destroyed the light effect. So the way that I got around it, there's probably a setting for this, but I don't know, is I made it transparent. And then I turned the transparency up, render that again. Not quite strong enough, I can see that, but I don't know whether you will. Uh, we don't want that completely transparent. Let's go for uh, 1.2, why not? And that's looking fairly okay, you can definitely tell there's a bit more shape in there. Still not high enough. 1.6 and yeah, that looks good to me. Okay, so thank you for watching, subscribe if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next video.